What's happening, folks? Coach Johnson here, IYC Coaching. Today, we're going to talk about putting the S in your SMART goals. <clears throat> so, SMART is an acronym for Specific, Measurable, Attainable, Realistic, and Time Measure or Time Bound. <clears throat> we're going to talk about the S part. And we're going to keep it in the realm of physical fitness and weight loss because that's what most people come to us for, but it really applies to any goal. So let me give you an example of two different statements and how they differ. Client comes to me and says, you know, coach, I'm not happy with the way I look. I want to get in shape. Okay. Client two says, you know, coach, not happy with the way I look. I want to lose 20 pounds. <clears throat> All right. Client three comes in and says, coach, not happy with the way I look. I want to fit into my size four jeans. Now, each of those goals are a little bit more specific than the other. First of all, the first one is not specific at all. If you say you want to <clears throat> get in shape, that's super ambiguous and, and doesn't have any meaning at all. How, how do I measure that? You know, I mean, round is a shape. Is that what you mean? Probably not. Uh, now, we often use weight as a measurement, not because it's the best one, because it's the easiest one. <clears throat> if you're going to measure weight, you step on a scale and a number appears. And then you remember the number. It's literally the easiest way to make measurements. And we also know that if you are following a decent plan with uh, high, high enough protein uh, amounts with some resistance and uh, portions, if you're losing weight, it's, only, it's mostly going to be losing uh, body fat, not too much lean tissue. If you go on just some kind of random weird <clears throat> cabbage soup or ultra calorie restricted diet where you're eating four calories a day, you, you will definitely lose weight but a lot of it will come at the expense of lean tissue. And there's two problems with that. Losing lean tissue, first of all, it, the muscle mass you have gives you shape. So if you lose just a lot of weight and muscle, you end up with what we call skinny fat, <clears throat> which means you might have a high percentage of body fat in a smaller frame, but your shape is not as good, especially if you don't have clothes on, just saying. The second problem is if you lose lean tissue, then you literally slow your metabolic rate, making it even harder to lose weight or, you know, in the future. So we don't want that. But my point is you need to be very specific. Now, as easy as weight is as a measurement, I believe that probably a more useful metric of success would be your clothing size or your waist circumference. Clothing size, because, you know, it's easy to you know, try pants on and they fit. Now, by putting them on, I mean, you put them on, not like lather yourself in lotion lay on your bed and heave and tug until the pants get over your, your hips. <clears throat> That's no, that might be progress. Maybe last week you couldn't even do that. I'm saying, you know, you want a size four pants, you put size four pants on, they fit, they don't cut into your body. fits good. Uh, waist, waist circumference is what my favorite because whether you're male or female, um, whether you're very overweight or a little overweight, <clears throat> a smaller waist is what everybody wants. A smaller waist accentuates accentuates your curves. If you are a guy and you want to look more manly, your shoulders don't shrink much and your waist shrinks. That gives you that V taper. If you are a female and you look at a smaller waist circumference, it gives you more of the hourglass figure. <clears throat> so male or female, everyone wants a smaller waist. But the, the main point of this video is when you choose a goal, again, we're keeping it in the realm of fat loss here, is make it as specific as possible. And with the other letters of the acronym, it needs to be something that is you know, measurable. Is it attainable in the time you have? Is it a realistic? I mean, if I say I want to be six foot three, that's not going to happen. Um, it has to be time bound. A, a goal without a timeline, a deadline, is simply a wish. So important. Specific goals, specific have a number in mind. Doesn't have to be weight. Could be a clothing size. Could be a waist circumference. It could be, um, you know, if you're doing just fitness goals, maybe it's how fast you can run a mile, how many push-ups you can do in a certain amount of time. Um, it could be lots of things. So keep that in mind. Put the S in smart goals. This is, you know, and again, here at IYC coaching, my goal is to make you happier, healthier, and harder to kill. So do me a favor. If you like this content, it would help support the channel by hitting like and subscribe and the bell notification. If you do that, it allows me to keep cranking out 
useful information and maybe some goofy information. All right, talk to you soon. Have a great day.